Here's a quick demo of a new Teensy Audio Library delay line feature. This is the audio system we'll be using. The microphone input arrives here, flows through to a mixer, and then into the delay line. Four of the eight delay taps are mixed together, so we'll hear four delayed copies of the sound. Output also flows along this feedback path. As the gain on the mixer's second input increases, we should hear a repeating echo. When we export to Arduino, just a little bit of code has to be added. In setup, we need to turn on the audio shield hardware and set the gains on the two mixers so that we don't end up with clip signals. Then the loop just uses analog read for the five knobs, which adjusts the time position of each delay tap and the amount of gain on the feedback path. So here it is running. You're hearing me speak through the mic with no delay. If I turn up a couple of the knobs, if I turn up a couple of the knobs, we should hear the delay. We should hear the delay. Test. Test. So let's adjust each knob. So let's adjust each, each knob, knob to a distinct knob to a distinct point. Distinct point. Distinct point. And now we should hear. And now four. we should hear four. Four, four copies. Four, of four copies, copies of me talking. talking. So here it is. So here, here it is. is. With it echo. Is. With echo. 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 You should hear. You should hear the many copies recirculating. Let's try music using the line inputs instead of the microphone. lines are a basic building block of all sorts of awesome audio effects. This quick demo just barely scratches the surface of possibilities when the delay lines are combined together with, audio, with other audio components, like the filters. The hardware in this demo was a Teensy 3.1, this microphone, the audio shield, and an 8-pin RAM chip which provides the memory for 1.5 seconds of delay. A 9-second delay is planned using this memory board designed by Frank Bosin. Of course, delay lines and digital audio processing aren't new, but this is the very beginning of a truly flexible digital audio processing open source library that runs on small microcontrollers and integrates with the large ecosystem of Arduino code. It's going to open up all sorts of interesting project possibilities. If you use it to build something awesome, please leave a comment below.